and the door opened, and a tall, ill-favoured man with black hair and a face, as the surgeon often declared afterwards, as pale and haggard as the countenance of any dead man he ever saw, presented himself. Walk in, sir, he said in a low tone. The surgeon did so, and the man, having secured the door again by the chain, led the way to a small back parlour at the extremity of the passage. Am I in time? Too soon, replied the man. The surgeon turned hastily around with a gesture of astonishment not unmixed with alarm, which he found it impossible to repress. If you'll step in here, sir, said the man, who had evidently noticed the action. If you'll step in here, sir, you won't be detained five minutes, I assure you. A surgeon at once walked into the room. The man closed the door and left him alone.